Our next guest is the founder of MilitaryMutual.org. Please welcome back to the show, 21-year retired Navy veteran, Derek Barksdale, and his special guest from Reboot Workshop, Maurice Wilson. Welcome to the show, fellas. Thank you. Great to have you here. Hey, it's an honor always. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh, it's so nice to see you. Mm -hmm. um, Derek, today you wanted to bring Maurice on. Tell us why. Well, I think by now everyone understands I'm a man of faith. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a man who believes in divine appointments, and this without question was a divine appointment. Um, we have a common friend of ours by the name of Keith Goosby, who's well respected in the entire Navy. He was a uh, mass chief and my command mass chief on board USS Constellation, who changed my life with five different words. And uh, he, he basically told me that it is not about you. And uh, I'm telling you, I didn't understand what it meant at the time. And as time moved along, about five years later, I really grasped it. And uh, without those words, I probably wouldn't be here today. And uh, what I would say is that birds of a feather truly flock together because mm -hmm. once I met Maurice, mm -hmm. I realized that he got that and he mm -hmm. understood that it is not about him. And so his whole life, although he could retire because he's a master chief himself who retired from the military mm -hmm. and he doesn't have to work, but he committed his life towards helping transition uh, transitioning military members and get out and uh, have a passion, have a hope, and have some confidence mm -hmm. as they move on. So mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. He's an amazing man, and I think uh, everyone's going to get a great deal from it. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate awesome. that. Yeah. Thank Maurice, you. great it. to have you. Good, yeah. to, good to be here. Yeah, tell us about what you're doing this work. It sounds really good. Well, you know, let me start with I'm a retired Navy Master Chief, like Derek said. I uh, did 26 years, and uh, I retired in 1998. And I worked at a local community-based organization here in San Diego for about 11 years, the Urban League. Mm. And there, you know, I was working with individuals that were really trying to find their way up. And I'm saying all this to, to say that it's kind of like a pathway that was set for me that I didn't know the pathway was being paved until I started walking down that road. And in 2009, I got bit by the veteran bug. <laughs> and all the experiences that I gained while I was in the Navy working at the Urban League and the whole behavioral sciences world all came together in one clear moment when we started looking at individuals who were getting out and just having a tough time reintegrating, getting out and having a tough time reintegrating. And that was my moment. And I actually joined an organization called the Call of Duty Endowment, which uh, they're the makers of the video game, you know, Black Ops and so forth. And I joined their board to actually help the veteran community overall um, find jobs. And it's through that process where we were actually vetting different organizations that were helping veterans get jobs where we finally realized that it's not just about the job, it's about finding out who you are. Mm -hmm. It's about redefining your purpose and passion and then resetting your life. And at that moment, everything crystallized for me that says, okay, you went through the training that you went through for a purpose, which is to bring that forward and then ultimately create the program called Reboot, which is a three week, what we call reverse boot camp that helps individuals transition successfully from the military culture or the military lifestyle to become civilians again. That's kind of like the, the quick synopsis of A reverse boot camp. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, think, think about it. You know, when you join the military, you go through six to 13 weeks of what they call behavior modification. So you're, incorpor you're indoctrinate, indoctrinated. You're incorporated into the military culturally, spiritually, everything about you has changed from who you were as a civilian to who you need to be in the military. That's the only way that it works. But no one does that coming out. So for many, many, many years, we saw a lot of our comrades, you know, a lot of people serve and not really figure that piece out. And we figured that piece out that, okay, if you could just plug that one gap in and help them make a, we call it a psychosocial transition from the military culture to civilian life, they would do amazingly well. And so far we've rebooted over 1,400 individuals and the success rate is like 98%. That's oh, crazy. That's amazing. You know? So it only takes three weeks. It's, only take three, uh, it, it's a journey. Three weeks gets you started. You know, they, they say that it takes 21 days to form a habit. Mm -hmm. So what we're dealing with, we're not dealing primarily with intelligence, so, so to speak. We're dealing with behavior, you know, emotion, feelings. I heard you talk about that a little while ago. You know, you have to really help them feel it, you know, become different, change their behaviors. We actually help them change their thought patterns from thinking like your military to beginning to think like a civilian, whatever that means to the individual. Yeah, and it's very different. Yeah. Totally different. Right, those are two completely different situations. Yes, indeed. And this transition has been really, really tough. 
Mm -hmm. um, there are some charities out there now that are talking about the fact that there are so many veterans who are taking their own lives every day. 22 mm -hmm. a day is the number day, right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I have to think that a lot of that has to, to do with that transition. It does. You know, because you're like, f you're, you're jumping off of a cliff or you're taking the stairs down, one of the two. Yeah, in, most, in most cases, you're jumping off the cliff. Yeah. And, and no one's really guiding you. And I think that's the big issue right there is uh, you end up with, with isolation, fear, self-doubt, uh, loss of identity, not really understanding what's next, no network. And so imagine coming from a world where 80%, 80 to 90% of everything that you do is scripted, organized, laid before you. It's, a, it's like an autopilot process. Imagine coming from that world to nothing, where you have to figure it all out, find it yourself, understand it. You have to know what's going on. That creates what we call this downward spiral. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people hit that downward spiral, and it doesn't really matter how high up in rank you are or where you, you, know, where you are in the military. It impacts us all. You know, I can tell you that my transition, you know, even though I retired, you know, Master Chief E9 at the top of our gang, mm -hmm. It really took me about eight years to kind of get rid of that way of thinking to adjust to the new environment. So most of our young people, you know, and I had all kind of things going for me, benefits and so forth. Our young people don't have eight or nine years no. to try to transition in life. They have to get it right almost the first time out the gate. For me, it was um, when I went through my transition, I was blessed enough to have my passion. I figured it out, mm -hmm. but I didn't have it the whole time. I basically, about 15 years into my military career, I didn't know what I wanted to do after I got out of the military. And if I was told, hey, it's time to go, I'd be like, okay, what are you gonna do? I don't know, just go out and get a job. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, be involved in real estate. I found my passion, I, I knew it, and uh, that was what fueled me to be successful in what I had. A lot of times people get out of the military and don't have that passion. They don't know where they're going <laughs> and they find themselves kind of lost as you talk about that downward spiral because you're told each and every day when you're in the military what to do, where to go, how to do things. Mm -hmm. You don't have that when you're a civilian and when you get out. So you really need that direction and that direction comes with, uh, within. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the program really helps out. So um, when we're talking about, you know, the time frame mm -hmm. uh, with which someone can use this program. Mm -hmm. What if they got out six, seven years ago? Mm -hmm. Would it still make sense for them to consider this if they are, are struggling? It doesn't matter if they got out 30 years ago. I'll give you a good example. Uh, in February 2015, we uh, rebooted 20 Vietnam veterans in Detroit, Michigan. Wow. Uh, wow. All of these guys were homeless, living in a, a homeless domicile called Peacock Square. They had been living in this domicile for like three to five years, you know, between all of them. They didn't have a, a vision, a purpose, or passion about what was next. So essentially they were stuck in what we call the holding pattern of life. They couldn't really figure out what was next. And so they cycled in and out of all the different programs and projects only to just be stuck. And so they went through the program and they all got it. They all changed. Now, you know, obviously being in their 60s, because so most of these guys are in their 60s, so they, re they got out of the military. Mm -hmm. We're talking 35, 40 years ago. And so does it work for everybody? Absolutely, yes. It doesn't matter if you've, you know, been lost for years or if you're getting ready to transition out. That's awesome. And so, it's very doable as well. Yeah. So for anyone who might be watching right now, if there's something that you could tell them, mm -hmm. uh, what would that be? Well, you know, find your, well, I would tell them, find yourself, find your purpose and your passion, and then align that with your career. Um, you know, now, again, I'm saying that, understanding that for many it's gonna be a challenge, but at least that's a starting place. You know, ultimately the ideal scenario, go through a reboot workshop. Yeah. You will be glad you did. Your family, your friends will be glad you did. You'll reconnect with everything, yourself, your family, your purpose, your passion. You'll, you'll find out who you are post-military. Because when we come in the military, we give our heart and our soul, our very existence you know, to the mission, to the cause. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta find your own cause, you know, find your own purpose and align it with the job and be, like Derek said, be very happy with what you're doing. Again, back to the conversation before, it's not about us. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's what you're taught in the military. It's not about you, it's about something else. Mm -hmm. But when you make that shift from the military, you have to change to, okay, now it is about me. And, and but you have to learn that in a very humble and respectful kind of way so you don't become arrogant about things but you do have to start taking care of yourself True. as opposed to relying upon somebody else to take care of you 
Maurice, thank you so much for coming in today. My really pleasure. appreciate your time. This is a great cause. Thank you so much for the hard work that My you're doing. My pleasure to be here. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Barksdale, once again, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for bringing Maurice. This is great stuff. My honor. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else commercial free. <laughs>